Hi me people! I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing some new gel polishes that I just got in from Nail Reserve. You all know I am a big fan of their gel polishes so let's see the new colors that they sent me. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited y'all. Alrighty! So I'm going to go ahead and just take all, oh wow, they sent me a lot of colors, holy moly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out and we're going to take a closer look at all of these gorgeous colors. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. So the first color I see here is Kiss Me Now. And let's see what this color looks like. Ooh, this is really pretty. It has really nice fine hollow glitter to it. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a very mesmerizing color. The next color we have here is Boss Lady, okay? Cause y'all know I'm a boss. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a really pretty color. I feel like I actually just recently got a gel polish color in similar to this, but this is what it looks like. It's a really beautiful green color here. So yeah, definitely Boss Vibes, okay? Next color we have here is Cashmere and it's a really beautiful light gray color, OMG. Wow, I'm obsessed with it. Absolutely gorgeous. Such a nice creamy color, oh my goodness. Love that a lot. Do me a favor, okay? And let's see what this looks like. Ooh, really pretty, like nudie pink color. Like that a lot. The next one we have here is aqua blue. And I've actually been looking for like a really nice light blue color to add to my collection. And I feel like this is perfect. Look at that. Really pretty, really icy. I really like that a lot. So who knows y'all, I might try to do some icicle nails with this cause I did some last year and I'm thinking about recreating the look. So we'll see. Next we have Pink Panther. Do I already have this color? No, oh, I think I might have this color already. Yeah, this is a really pretty nude color here. Kind of like a, a deeper mauve nude. Let me see if I already have this color. I think I might have this already. I actually already have this color. So I might be putting this one into a giveaway. So yeah, that's a really pretty color though. We also have Girl Code, which y'all know yellow is my favorite color. So I definitely want to get more yellows from Nail Reserve. And wow, look at this. It's like a really pretty shimmer yellow color. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we have that. And then last but not least is we have a maple syrup. And so maple syrup is this really beautiful, wow, very, very, very bright uh, neon uh, kind of orange slash peachy kind of color. It's really pretty, definitely summer vibes, okay? And then I actually asked uh, Nail Reserve if they were, if they could send me their base, cause I actually don't have like their regular base coat and they were kind enough to send that to me as well. So I'm gonna be testing out their base as well. This one here is aqua blue. Wow, very, very pretty blue color. And it's nice and opaque. Y'all already know Nail Reserve has that one coat coverage, which I absolutely love. Very nice and creamy. These polishes are definitely comparable to Madame Glam for sure. So this is what one coat of coverage looks like. Kiss Me Now. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a really nice silver hollow color. I like how fine the glitters are in this one. Absolutely stunning. And it smells delectable. Okay, y'all. This smells just like the Hubba Bubba Bubble Gum, okay? Really, really yummy. Okay, very gorgeous color. And I forgot to show you guys what their base coat looks like. So this is what the base looks like. I like the consistency of it. Medium viscosity. Okay, I like that a lot. All right. As I am swatching all of these No Reserve polishes, um, I just wanted to say I was really impressed with the color selection um, that they have on their website. So I was able to choose all of these colors and I just love the variety. I can go from summer to winter, the fall. That was really cool. Um, I do have a discount code with Nail Reserve. It's Rose Nails. I will leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below, but these polishes are just amazing. Alrighty, so this is what all of the colors look like swatched out. I'm gonna go through and show you all what they look like up close. The first one is this absolutely gorgeous um, hollow silver glitter. And this one is called Kiss Me Now. Absolutely stunning, I love this one. Definitely gotta put this in today's look. Cashmere, I'm really loving this beautiful um, light gray color. Aqua blue, and this is a really nice soft light blue. Pink Panther, which is this really kinda mauvey purpley pinkish nude <laughs> do me a favor 
which is this really kind of soft pink nude color. I really like this a lot. It kind of has a little bit of a purple undertone to it. It's really cute. Maple syrup, which is this really bright kind of orangey peachy color. Girl Code, which I really enjoy this color. It's a really pretty yellow. It's bright, kind of summertime yellow, but it has those beautiful like uh, hints of glitter shimmer to it. Really pretty. Then the last one here is Boss Lady, which is this really beautiful green color. So yeah, y'all, these are all the colors here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, think about what look I want to do and I'm gonna be right back. I am going to be going in with some press-on nails today. I've y'all see I've really been into doing my press-ons lately so I'm gonna be going in with these and then I also have uh, these three colors that I'm going to be using in today's look. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my lazy girl way of prepping my nails which is just going in with a base coat and I'm gonna go in with the base coat from Nail Reserve. And I'm going to apply that to all the nails and that's going to allow for better adhesion of the gel polish that you put on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. And I do like the consistency of this base coat. It's slightly thick but not too thick which I actually like. Now I'm going to go in with aqua blue and apply that to my index and my ring finger. For my middle finger, I'm going to go in with this beautiful cashmere color. And then for my pinky, I'm going to go in with kiss me now. And actually, I'm going to start with my pinky because it's just going to be a solid glitter nail. So I'm going to start with that one, okay? Man, it smells good. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, this is an absolutely gorgeous glitter. I love it. So I'm going to go in with two coats of each polish, okay? So I'll be right back. Two coats of the gel polish has been applied to each of the nails. Next, I want to go in with my uh, middle finger here, and I want to try my attempt at a sweater snowflake nail. Um, one of my friends did it recently, and I absolutely love how it turned out, so I want to try to do it myself. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the inspo picture here on the screen, show you guys what it looked like. It turned out really pretty. They used a nude color, but I'm gonna try to go in with um, this gray color and see how it turns out. So what you'll wanna do is take a dotting tool, okay? And just make dots going uh, up and down first. So I'm gonna go in with a bigger dot and try to let the dots get a little bit smaller as you go up like so. It might be better to actually go in with a different dotting tool but I'm gonna try my hand at trying to make the dots smaller with this one and it's not even a straight line but we're gonna keep with it y'all. I think the snowflake is too big actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this, I'm gonna try again. Do one dot here, okay? And then I'm gonna take a smaller dotting tool and make the dots kind of start to get a little bit smaller. So I'll go with this one, and this one, and this one, okay? And I'll do the same this way. All right, do like one, two, three, okay? And then I'll do three off to the side. One, two, three, same thing. One, two, I do feel like the snowflake is too big though, but I think I'm going to go with it, okay? So now that that's drawn, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and take my brush with just a little bit of the product on there and I'm going to connect all the lines. So like so, I'm going to start at the middle and connect all the lines, okay? It's looking like a snowflake to me. Alrighty, so this is what we got. I'm gonna go in and just kind of redefine some of these dots here because some of them kind of got lost in translation here. So I'm gonna just gonna make that a little bit more defined. Like so. This looks good to me. From here, what you want to do is you want to take your uh, clear. So I'm going to go in with my um, Young Nail Speed Clear. 
and you want to pour the clear powder all over the nail. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the opposite end and just sprinkle the clear all over the nail like so. And you definitely want to do this into the wet gel polish. Once you get it nice and coated, you'll just tap it off and then you'll cure for 60 seconds. This is what the nail is looking like fresh out of the lamp and then you'll just want to dust it off. Oh wow, that turned out really pretty. I like that. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I was supposed to go in with the matte top coat. Hmm, I forgot to go in with the matte. That's pretty. Okay, I like that a lot. So that is my sweater snowflake nail. I did forget to go in with a matte top coat first before I started this design, but I think it still looks good. Let me know what you guys think. Next, I'm gonna go in with this finger here and I'm gonna do a present. I am gonna take White Addict, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and draw a vertical line and a horizontal line. Okay, happy people, so as I'm drawing these lines, I just wanted to take time to say that I am really, really grateful for all the love and support that everybody has shown on the launch of Ain't She Cute Though. I really appreciate everybody who's liked, who's commented, who's shared, um, and everybody who's ordered. I just really appreciate all the love and support. And it's so crazy because so many opportunities have come my way. Um, one of my really great sisters, she actually afforded me the opportunity to attend a vendor event tomorrow. And I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Alrighty, so this is what this nail is looking like. Next, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to add um, a charm here. So I have these like cute little bow tie charms that I recently got. I think I got them from Shein. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that right here in the middle to create my present. Ah, how cute! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my McCart rhinestone glue to adhere it. And I'm gonna use that right here in the middle, like so. I'm gonna give it a good dollop here in the middle, okay? Because I want it to adhere to it properly. And then from there, I'm gonna go in with my no wipe top coat, okay? And I'm gonna apply that to the nail. Oh, how perfect, super cute. Cure for 60 seconds, yes! This is so adorable. But I'm thinking though it might actually almost look better matte since the charm is kinda matte. What y'all think? Ooh, I don't know, this might end up being a matte set, y'all. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make this matte, okay? How do y'all think the pinky finger would look matte though? Let's see. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm gonna make it matte, yeah. So, I'll be right back. I did go ahead and apply matte top coat to these two nails and I do like how they look better. Um, although I do, I'm a little sad that the shine is taken away from this so I might still go back and top coat that. Um, but let's move on to my index finger here. So for my index finger, I am going to do like the, like the dripping snow situation. And yeah, I'm just gonna just draw like some, just some, you know, random lines going down just to kind of mimic, you know, snow or ice, like so. Oh yeah, y'all, as I was mentioning earlier, my um, really good sister, she actually just recently opened her own beauty supply shop where she sells like all human um, raw version hair. She also sells like clutches and clothing. She sells jewelry and she's a phenomenal makeup artist. And um, yeah, she gave me the opportunity to actually um, be able to showcase and sell my press on nails at her shop and so i actually do have a display in her shop um where i have some custom press on nails that i've made and they're available to the public for purchase and so i just thought that was really cool um and she actually is the one who um told me about the vendor event that's taking place tomorrow and invited me to share a table with her so i'm just beyond grateful um one to give me the opportunity to um, help grow my business while you know she's also getting hers off the ground too and so it's just great that us as women and entrepreneurs and business owners can just work together um because you know it's room for all of us out here to succeed and so i'm just beyond grateful that she's willing to kind of um take me along on the journey with her and so um yeah y'all so tomorrow i'll be um going to a vendor event where i'm going to be selling my t-shirts my custom press on nails then i also have some uh, rose 
beauty shea butter body balms i'm going to be selling as well and so that's something that i might or might not bring um, to the website i'm going to go and see how they do at the vendor event and, and if they do well then i'll consider putting it on the website but yeah i am going to try to um do like snippets from the um, vendor event and post them on my ain't she cute though instagram so if you guys want to see updates about how that went and what's going on um you you can see it over there in my stories and again i want to give a huge shout out to my sister her name is abby and she is the owner of gates beauty empire i'm going to leave information to her shop as well as um, her Instagram um, link down in the description box below if you all want to go over show her some love show her some support um, She is an awesome awesome business owner with a beautiful heart and some wonderful products So yeah, y'all let's get back into the look So I'm getting ready to bling out this thumbnail with a bling snowflake So yeah, I'll be using the sets bling it gel to adhere all of my rhinestones But this is what the thumbnail was looking like. I'm loving how my little blanket snowflake came out. This nail right here. So I feel like it's missing something, right? So I feel like I want to draw like an ornament on here. And the ornament is going to look really pretty because once the top coat hit it, it's going to bring the hollow glitter back to life. So I'm going to actually use the blanket gel to draw the ornament. Let's pick up some of the blanket gel on here. And this is also going to give it a little bit of dimension is what I'm trying to say. Like it's going to kind of make it look 3D. I'm just going to put it right in the middle. Yeah, you see how that brings it to life? So this is what I want to do. Just like that. That's pretty. So that's going to be my little ornament, you guys. How cute is that? Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw just this little line here coming from the ornament. So that it kind of looks like one. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. I'm also going to go ahead and just outline it in white just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. is what we have so far um, I did decide that with this nail here um, I although I do really like the sweater look I felt like it would look better with the matte background and a white snowflake so I did do that off camera so this is what that nail is looking like now and I feel like it really does like pull the whole set together it makes it look complete um, on this nail um, I forgot that I was doing a matte set y'all so I think I'm gonna need to go in with a matte top coat over the gray area and then um, once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and put these press on nails on and we are gonna get into the finished look okay all right you guys ain't she cute though yes baby I am absolutely loving how this set turned out I'm loving that I went with the matte effect for this set because it really I feel like makes it pop I'm loving my little 3D charm I put on. I'm loving that kind of sweater snowflake 3D situation. Um, my little ice drip was okay, you know what I mean? And y'all, it's the bling snowflake for me. I had a lot of fun with this set. And even this little ornament, you know, it's not perfect, but it's still cute though, you know? You all already know I'm a huge fan of the Nail Reserve gel polishes. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a discount code down in the description box as well as on the screen for 50% off on their polishes. So if you guys are interested in getting your hands on them you can so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about my winter manny i am feeling it very cute and very winter vibe and also you guys wish me luck at my first vendor event tomorrow i'm super nervous but super excited at the same time and also i just want to wish you all a merry merry christmas i hope you all have a good time opening gifts eating and just spending some good quality time with your loved ones i know that's what i'll be doing on christmas and so yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye